Welcome to Speed Round Sunday on the Parenting Roundabout podcast, where we share a mini episode from our past for your weekend listening pleasure. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new episode. Now, I'm not much of a TV watcher anymore, but if I was, there's a few channels that I wish existed, but unfortunately (laughs) don't. So, before I tell you my my thoughts on that, Catherine, do you have a TV channel that you wish existed, but just can't seem to find? Hmm. Well, there is a channel, uh, there's an Olympic channel. Hmm. Um, like I think it's NBC maybe related or I don't know there there is a channel that specializes in Olympic coverage and even you know in off years but we don't get it like it's not part of our cable package but it's one of those things where you're like flipping through the channels and it says like you know figure skating championship or like a a luge race or something and we're like oh let's watch that oh no we don't get that channel so (laughs) so i think maybe it would just be to um get that channel without having to pay a million dollars or you know get some kind of ridiculous package that you know (laughs) i don't want anything else i think in general i would like to be able to to have my cable be totally a la carte so that I can just Mm. pick like I could limit it to like 20 channels or less but they would have to be the certain ones you know that I want Mm -hmm. and not have to pay for like 120 just to get Mm -hmm. the 20 that I want well I totally agree with you I need choice. I need to My cut the choice. cord is probably what I wanted, <laughs> but I need to do it, but that yeah. sounds like a lot of work, so. Yeah. Yeah. Terry, how about you? Is there something that you wish you could watch, but you can't or exist that doesn't, <laughs> like, a channel for parents who are writing IP? <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be, that would be like Criminal Minds. I would have to flee the room when I got, when I got to that. <laughs> I was thinking it would be nice to have sort of a dedicated um, uh, multitasking channel <laughs> that would always be showing something that you didn't mind sitting in front of but wouldn't have to pay too much attention to. There you go. Uh, you know, uh, the other day I was trying to find something and and both uh, HGTV and the Food Network had stuff on that was not their normal stuff. And it's like, well, that's not what I want. I want something that I can just, I want, you know, people looking at houses or I want people making food with unusual items. I just want a constant stream. And it would be nice. It was sort of broken up, you know, because you watch like 10 beachfront property shows in a row and you start to feel a little ridiculous. So, you know, mix it up a little bit. You could have a little bit of food, a little bit of travel, a little bit of real estate, a little bit of you know, innocuous uh, procedural show that doesn't have too much violence in it, just so you could just sit there and do your work or do your stitching or do whatever it is you do, fold your laundry, never have to change the channel. That would be useful. Hmm. That would be useful. Awesome. Yes. I like it. Well, while you were both chatting, I came up with the best idea for a channel ever. (laughs) Let's hear it. (laughs) Best for me, of course. (laughs) Is this going to have something to do with Canada? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you know it. Darn it. <laughs> I want a channel that's dedicated to all things Canadian. I want Canadian cooking shows. I want Canadian commercials. I want Canadian crime. I want <laughs> Canadian culture. It has to be like like all the you know different parts, aspects of, of Canada. And I want it here in the States so that people in the States know how awesome Canada is. <laughs> and you would make it required viewing? Yes. <laughs> on every cable package. On every cable package, it's there. And you will find out how awesome we really are. We just don't live in igloos. <laughs> we do Send other me a bag of ketchup too. chips and I'll watch for the length of time it takes me to eat them. Sounds good. <laughs> and then, and you know, and then you'd also be very surprised at how many of our actors oh, are yeah. Canadian. Oh, so, that we know. Mm-hmm. My, my yes. husband watches... Uh, the Sci-Fi Channel, uh, oh, yes. in, on which almost all of the actors are Canadian. So anytime we see that actor someplace else, he goes, 
I bet they're Canadian. They wear the sci-fi suits. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked them up, and sure enough, they Sure are. enough, they are. <laughs> and all the shows that are filmed yes. in Canada, yes. in Vancouver. In like particular. Suits, yes. that we just so, watched. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yep. And Riverdale. Mm-hmm. Yep. Is filmed. Riverdale is actually filmed in my the suburb that I lived in, just really? down the road. I used to take my kid to the park mm. there all the time. Wow. <laughs> Near that river. You know that river that they show in the opening? Uh-huh. I don't know if you've seen Riverdale, but... I say uh-huh like yeah, I've, I've seen never it. seen it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's a shot of a river, and we used to take my son there all the time. Aww. Anyway, okay. on that note... It sounds like maybe the Canadian network already exists, Nicole. It just doesn't get a lot of recognition. <laughs> yeah, like, it, a- it happens up there, but... <laughs> Canada <laughs> plays a lot of different parts. <laughs> they do. It plays a lot of different places. It does. It does. It has a long resume of roles. Yes, it just never gets recognized for the roles it does. That's right. <laughs> it's my job to make sure everybody knows. There you go. And okay. Doing it well. Mm-hmm.